these new yeah. fishing piers out here. The public, they're just oh gonna love it. They're just gonna love it. Today we're getting an update on the Lake Machado Ecosystem Rehabilitation Project, which is what we've been told 10% completed. We have a Bureau of Engineering, our City Engineering Commissioner, um, Kevin James, the contractors. Uh, we're just here to get an update and to see the progress being made on this $110 million funded by uh, Prop O. This project is one of the biggest for Prop O. So its purpose is to clean up the sediments and the, the legacy toxins that have accumulated here, like DDT and some pesticides and herbicides that are harmful. that are no longer found in the environment, but um, are bound in the sediments. So that's the main goal of, of the project. But the other part of it is the park improvements, the other amenities for right. the community benefit um, that sort of complement the water quality benefits. So together, that's an amazing project. We have improvements up here. We're removing invasive vegetation and leaving native vegetation for the the um, environment. We're putting in two wetlands up there and four down here. Those will be seasonal wetlands. They provide a uh, good environment for the, the native species. We're creating a channel through here. We're putting in a stormwater treatment unit here for a large storm drain that feeds into the lake. We have uh, stormwater treatment units here, two of them on a storm drain inlet. We have a bioswale here and we have stormwater treatment units here on the east side for another storm drain that comes through here. This area also has invasive species removal and restoration scope. We're putting in 900,000 square feet of new sod, new irrigation, water-wise landscape um, irrigation. We have a new pathway that's going to be going all the way along the west side of the lake and along the way there are little um, seating node areas, a nice area for people to sit and relax as they make their way across the path. We also have four fishing piers. There are three on the west side of the lake. They each have 13 53 foot deep piles as well as one fishing pier across the lake that the college will be able to use for some of their courses and they'll take students out there. We also have two pedestrian bridges on the west side that will cross. Currently you have to walk around these storm drain inlets so we'll have a nice pedestrian bridges and they'll be able to see the improvements close up. That is a barge that was specially built for this project. It's dredging the lake. It's sucking up a mixture of sediments from the bottom as well as water. And then it pumps the slurry to the shore. But its main function is just to kind of go back and forth over the lake to precisely take up a, a layer of uh, sediment, which is again the main thing we're trying to do as far as accomplishing the water quality goals. The lake varies from about two feet to four feet deep and we're going down so it's seven feet deep and then we're adding a cap on the bottom and a layer, six inch layer of sand so the final depth will be six feet when we're done. Mostly across the lake bottom it's flat. What's the strangest thing you found so far? There's, a, there's actually two cars that we ran into so far. Any alligators at this yeah, point? Alligators. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No alligators. So this is the pipeline that comes in from the dredge with the sediment, like kind of like a slurry. Our first set of tanks are equipped with shakers that have a quarter inch mesh screen. Anything bigger than a quarter inch gets automatically taken out. All your garbage, golf balls, rocks, everything ends up here. From here, it gets agitated and it gets moved into our cobra tanks. That's where your separation happens between solids and the water. The water gets returned to the lake. The sediments get taken into our presses for removal for us to press the water out of it and then you get the final product at the end of the conveyor. There's two finished products, the, the dried sludge material and of course the water, the clean water that come, that's been pressed out of it. And you're still here, the clean water being returned to the lake. Uh, this hole is an excavation for a fishing zone that'll be on the west side of the lake and it'll cantilever out over the lake to give people the opportunity to be out and see all of the lake um, on top of it. And this cleared area is one of the wetlands that will be used for seasonal wetlands. It'll have new wetlands plants. There are two up here. This is wetland one and the smaller one up ahead is wetland two. This swale will take water that's pumped out of Wilmington Drain and uh, carry it through the wetland to provide water and carry it out to the um, to, towards the lake. This all came out of the lake right here. It comes out at about 50% moisture content and by the time they dry it out in these piles it comes down to about 20% moisture content. And that's where it's removed off site and, and it goes to the appropriate landfill. We haven't had any lead contaminants or anything that makes it go to a class 1 facility. Up ahead on the right is where the aqua block is being staged. It's the material that goes on the bottom of the lake to keep the sediment that has contaminants from getting back into the water. It'll be a 
six inch layer. It's a bentonite wrapped around gravel. Right here, right? They drop it from the surface of the lake and spread it out in an even layer so that it, it swells up when the water comes in contact with the bentonite and it creates a cap on the bottom that contaminants can't come through anymore. So the material that's being dredged out is going to be replaced by this material behind us. Yes. And another six inches of, of sand, sand so that the uh, little animals can burrow into it and you have a healthy environment. This is the biggest rehabilitation project Harbor City has ever seen. Hey, clean water. Clean water.